Top of the morning, welcome back. This is the Game Changer Podcast with Satim Mangali. You guys better get your minds right and get up and let's go. Go, 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 uh-huh. go, go. See, it's more than the game that we change. You can hear it and see it and talk it and read it. You can even feel it when you're watching the videos. How many of you felt something just watching? Yeah. But like transformation, it is a very individual thing. So if some of you, I didn't realize that was a presentation. I'm like, okay, thank you. Some of you in here are like, you feel it. Some of you feel it. And you know that it is time to go. So if it is, talk to my man with the luscious locks, Willie. Let's go have a conversation. I, you know, there's like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. We've had 70-year-old women come through. And they're like, I, I'm, Joy, where's Joy? Is Joy here? She was here. Oh, Joy! Joy and pain. Sunshine. So, Joy. Let me tell you what happens. Let me tell you what I do as a closer. Joy's like, I'm coming. I'm like, great. Then I get a text message. I'm not sure I can come. I'm like, I got it. Hello, Joy. You don't understand. My knees. I was like, I got in And I was like, please don't kill Joy. I was like, I got it. So I'm like, Joy, we have a powerful, direct conversation. I'm like, okay, good. Then about a week before immersion, same resistance. Joy, how you doing, sweetheart? Okay, I just, I was like, I got you. Don't worry. So, but, you know, we have a meeting before immersion and we're like pre-briefing as a team. I'm like, all right, when it's time to do this physical stuff, you pull Joy out. Do not let her do anything. Of course, what does Joy do? They start, I can't, my knees, my elbows, and pretty soon, as soon as immersion starts, I see a woman who found a dog inside of her. She's like, leave me alone. I'm doing it. And I'm like, plank. I'm like, Joy, you don't have to plank. I'm planking. And she's like, that's the beginning. She's planking. By the end, she's like. And I saw a woman transform. So thank you, Joy. Right, thank you. So just talk to Willie if that's you. Now, before I bring up the time, it's 11.30. We have one hour, and then we're going to have lunch. You guys good? You guys can be okay? Okay. <laughs> You're like, uh-huh, I'm hungry. <laughs> um, next hour, we're going to have a conversation. We're going to wrap up a few principles. And we're going to go into lunch about 12.30. But I want to bring it to you. The reason I'm talking about this immersion, I'm going to have before I have Spencer come out. When Spencer came to immersion in 2017, it was the third one for the men. Right? I had to start it again with the men. And here's the thing that Spencer didn't share, but I'm going to share. Spencer was hiding, and you t- he talks about the business transformation and the, the physical transformation, but Spencer was hiding spiritually. This man was sitting on the back row, the back pew, big old Spencer, like this on Sundays. Well, as soon as that, you know, they, they call it a sacrament or the main mass meeting, as soon as it was done, you walk out and go. And when Spencer came, and I started to ask him questions. See, as a coach, you guys are coaches. You're leaders. You lead organizations. If you're, okay, who in here is a parent? Raise your hand. Who in here has a lover or a spouse? Raise your hand. Yeah, you're, you're leaders and coaches. I look at Spencer, I'm like, as a coach, I'm like, why are you hiding your talents? And so he has this transformation, and you know, we can talk about the financial transformation, we're going to talk about the physical and the relational, but I'm going to tell you right now as a brother of Spencer's, I think the greatest transformation of Spencer's has been spiritual. As he is a leader in his organization over many congregations and has an incredible responsibility. Because he heard the voice and the voice said to go and he went my invitation to use of whatever, like I'm not even talking about immersion, hear me, I'm not talking about immersion. Whatever the voice is telling you to do, do it. Janet, can you hear me? You sure? Wendy, can you hear me? Shelly Frode, can you hear me? 
Steve, it's not enough to be in here and to feel. It's not enough to be like, oh man, this is so good, and we cry. It's not enough to hear and feel and see. You have to have the courage to step and to go. And I invite you, if you're a coach, a leader, a parent, and you're the coach that needs to hit Access the dog so you can be direct and decisive and dominant. Access the dog so you can be aggressive and assertive and ask. Access the dog as a coach, as a parent, because your children are counting on you, right? Let's go. Go, 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 uh-huh. go. See, it's more than the game that we changing. We don't do it for the block, do it for the name. Yeah. No, there ain't no stopping it. If you really want it, better rock with it. This is how to be a game changer. Better put your pride down. Have 